Hey boys and girls, so I wanted to just kind of go through how you would um, create your Google Slides for your theme project and how you would insert a video recording of yourself. So the first thing you're obviously going to do is make sure that you read all of your directions. Hold on. Well, I want to pull up. There we go. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you um, read all the directions all the way through. This is due Thursday. So your job is you are going to read the story, wherever you go in Charming Billy, that we started together in class, and you are going to determine what you think the theme of the story is. Here is a definition of theme, okay? Um, a lesson or message from the story that you can apply to your own life, okay? So remember, it was easy when you were growing up because when your parents read to you at night, um, a lot of those stories had really easy themes or messages to figure out. So now that you're in the eighth grade or seventh honors, it's a little bit more difficult to figure out the theme. But you're going to think about what is the author trying to convey to trying to teach you. OK, so you're going to figure out what the theme is. Then you're going to create a Google slide and you're going to have a title slide. And you are going to have um, three different slides with three different pictures that you think convey the theme. And on each slide, you're going to have at least three sentences that talk about what you think the theme, why you think this picture represents the theme. Then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to have a slide that is a recording of you summarizing the story. OK, now in your summary, you are going to also be including what you think the theme of the story is. Guys, your summary does not have to be longer than a minute or two. Also, you can have notes typed out on your screen that you can use while you are recording yourself. That is no different than if you were making a speech in class and you came up to the podium and you had note cards in your hand. That's totally fine. Also, remember, this isn't a flip grid, meaning no one is going to see it but me. OK, so all of your friends aren't going to be able to view your video. So it's going to be OK. Notice on the rubric, though, that it says you don't have to be in uniform, but no hats, no hoodies. I don't want to be able to see your bed. I need for you to really pay attention to your location. I need you to look nice. So here's a rubric. This is going to be two separate test grades, your Google slide, um, your title slide. It needs to have your name, name of the story, name of the author, and title of presentation, which is determining theme project. Um, you need to have three different pictures of what you believe to be the theme three sentences on each picture slide describing why you chose the picture, and then creativity. I just added that in because I forgot. I do not want to see a blank white slideshow with no pictures, no nothing, no color. I also don't want to see anything that's just like crazy, like a bunch of random stuff, okay? Ones look nice and neat, but I also want it to be something that someone would want to actually look at, okay? Then your recorded summary presentation, um, clothing, you don't have to be in a uniform, but you need to look nice. No hats, no hoodies. All that already said it. Correct summary, include the theme in your su in your summary. All right, so let's say I was getting ready to get started. I would go to new. I'm going to go to a presentation. Now, I would, if I had more time, I would choose a lot better um, theme. I, you know, I finally figured out how to get really pretty themes from the internet, but I'm not going to do all that right now. Let's see. Okay, themes. I'm just going to choose not white. This one's always a, a good one. All right, on your title up here. This isn't your title slide, but you do need to have a title. I would just put like your name. So I would put Miss Scaravelli. I can type my name. And I'll put theme presentation. Okay, then right here, this is your title slide. So you're going to have um, the title of your story. Where have you gone? Charming Billy. Make sure you spell it correctly. Make sure it's in quotation marks because it's a short story. Then you're going to have the author. And I will go. I think it's Tim O'Brien, but I would go back and check. Then you would have um, the title of the presentation, Determining Theme Project. And I would put my name, Ashley Garabelli. All right, so that's my title slide. Then I'm going to have three slides that have a picture somewhere. And then I'm going to, like, you could have this theme. And then you could have a picture. You know you just, like, can delete this text box. Or you can make it smaller like this. And then you can insert a picture right here. Go to Insert. 
Go to image, you can upload from computer or you can search the web and you can insert it here and then your three sentences can go right here.